Hi guys, this is Vadi Villain from Network Experts and today we're going to see how we're going to extend the internet from one location to other location using outdoor wireless access point and this is the topology we are going to test and I have already placed two outdoor access points on top of my roof and internet is connected to the master access point and through the outdoor access point we are going to access the internet uh, to the remote location too using the outdoor access point we can use 2.4 GHz or 5.8 GHz frequency for this testing okay outdoor access points which i used is imported from china so this is capable of uh, sending wireless access towards the remote location for 5 km to 10 km range and this is the access point model which i used which is round shape for 2.8 GHz frequency i am going to use to share the internet okay let let's go to the setup again and see what we are going to do in this diagram where internet is connected to the router and from the router LAN port we connect to the outdoor access point so that it will go to the remote location and before you configure the access point set your laptop IP to the access point range which is 192.168.255.100 is my access point default gateway and have set the IP of 192.168 dot hundred on my laptop and dot one using the LAN cable you can access and when once you log in right so this is the default uh, window you can see on the access points the default username is admin admin and once you log in it will show you what is the mode it is in as this is my I'm going to use this access point as my master access point so I have to set as a master and the matching ID what is the frequency I'm going to use so let's say that frequency and the matching ID should be matched on both master and the slave then once you have selected these two then you have to click ok to go to the next settings then you have to click the access point so here you can see what is the IP you are going to use so you have to choose dot one for the LAN network to be used suppose you want to configure in future you have to plug the LAN cable and then you just tell it to this IP and you will be able to configure the access point and you have to give the subnet mask next is the master which this this physical channel which we have already uh, configured in the bridge setting which is the matching ID of 12412 hertz which we are going to broadcast our SSID so you have to check this one matching ID one and two for one two hertz again just for the uh, checking purpose we don't want to do anything wrong here so then you have to set your SSID to broadcast so what is the SSID you are going to do it that you can do which I have already said so this is the uh, for the example I'm just comparing this as this is my CP 2 2G right so this is my SSID which I'm gonna do the broadcast and I'm going to configure this here and second is authentication so you should always use the authentication because if you use the open right so anyone can access to your access point and access your internet which we don't want to do that so we have to set always the strongest password which we could so that no one in the middle can crack the password and access to your network right so then enable wireless bridging wds and click next then just check the settings and click ok to finish this master access point so now we are successfully configured the master access point and we are going to open uh, I have already uh, connected the uh, secondary slave access point uh, to my laptop now and that is also in the range of 192.168.255.1 so I have to change that IP to 255.5.2 in order so that uh, master and slave access point will not clash each other okay so once we uh, type the uh, dot two which i have already configured so i just placed an username as password is admin admin by default and here you can see the mode so this mode is very important so mode should be b and the matching id should be one and next is the, G the the dscp which should be enabled 
and fixed ip you can see that right so this is the ip that we are going to log in uh, always to the secondary access point which is the slave here you can see you have to select the matching id 1 and 2 for one to my hearts in order to both access point to be paired and you can use the remote access point name and password to bridge uh, that is one option is available but you can also go to the station and search for it and then click on it give the password and then pair it so either way you can do but the simply i can say instead of uh, suppose if you are not aware of the ssid of the remote what you have configured you just have to go to the uh, uh, station tab and you have to search for the station like normally we uh, in the mobile right we just go to the wi-fi we will just click on it and we search for the wi-fi like that you can also give the master ap if you know other ssid otherwise just you have to click the scan in order to get the ssid of the So I'm going to just click put the master SSID and gonna do the scan results. So I think it will take like 20-30 uh, seconds to give me the result because it has scan all the access point which is available and scan it. So let's wait for it. Yeah, here you can go ahead that we have uh, two access point uh, signals which we are using one is minus 47 dbm and 20 dm so first one is our remote access point actually so i'm gonna click on that and i'm gonna pair it as you can see the status it is paired so you just have to pair that's it and you are successfully paired as you can see both the access points are seeing each other and see the signal strength is very good you guys can see this is the access point which i have placed master and slave here it's almost around some 600 uh, meters away so i cannot test the uh, one kilometer or two kilometer currently but i will test it in future and share the results to you guys this is around some 500 to 700 meters you can say master and slave access points which is placed as you can see that in the slave access point you can see the LAN blink and wireless LAN blinking and it is successfully connected and I just did the I connected my mobile to the Wi-Fi and did the speed test as you can see 31 Mbps I'm getting which is great and I'm happy if you like this video guys please do like subscribe and share the video with friends I'll try to post more videos on Wi-Fi technologies